What is up everybody? It's Emily with Brown Cow Creatives and today I'm going to show you how to make these circle frames for a bunch of different projects that you can do in Cricut Design Space. So I made these for a acrylic round baby milestone set that I did for a friend a couple weeks ago and I got a whole lot of questions about how to create these. So I actually created mine in Adobe Illustrator but I just wanted to show you how quick and easy it is to make these in design space. So you can use these again like as a frame for those acrylic rounds. You can also, in the I did a couple of designs a couple years ago with my Santa tray and I used these circles as the placeholders for the cookies and the milk and stuff like that. You can also use these as frames for wood signs that you put vinyl onto. Um, you can use them for all kinds of different things and you don't you're not limited to just doing circles you can do any shape that your heart desires so I just want to show you how easy it is I'm going to delete this and I'm going to show you exactly how I did it so all you need to do is go to shapes you're going to select the circle shape and it's going to pop up as a two inch by two inch circle I'm going to make it bigger so that I can show you how you can see it a little bit easier so as far as size, you're just going to have to figure out what size you need for the project that you're working on. So for, in, for this instance, I'm just going to make it um, a little less than five and a half or four and a half so, you can, so you're, you can easily see it. So now I've got my circle. I'm going to right click and duplicate it. Okay, I'm going to pull this over here to the side. And this is when your creativity is going to have to come into play because you're going to have to decide how wide you want your circle. Keep in mind that the, the thinner your circle is, the circle frame, I guess, the border, the harder it is going to be to weed. So I like to keep mine a little on the thick side. I'm going to change this circle to white. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to, this is going to be too, too big or too small of a circle. I can already tell but we're just going to play with it. So I'm going to select both circles. I'm going to come up here to where it says align and click that button. I'm going to center it horizontally and vertically. So you can see that this is going to be the width of my circle frame. So you can either make that, you can make the circle smaller, which is going to create a much larger width of your frame, or you can make it bigger, which is what I think I'm going to do. That's about right. Okay, so again, what I'm going to do, you can rubber band select, and all that means is that I'm going to select two things at once. So I'm going to start clicking over here, and then I'm going to drag, and that selects everything. Then I'm going to do that again. Center, center. Okay, and that looks pretty good to me. So I'm going to rubber band select again. Another way that you could select everything is to come over to your um, panel over here, your layers panel, and select everything by holding shift and select so you would click and then hold shift and then click the other layer that you wanted to select. And then I'm going to come down here where it says slice and I'm going to slice that. So now what's going to happen is you can see over here that it has taken this layer and sliced it through this layer which left this layer. So now I don't need this white circle. I am going to need that and I don't need this. So I'm going to delete this. I'm going to delete this. I'm going to come over here and get my circle. I'm going to right click again and hit duplicate. And then this is just going to kind of be your preference on how you want to line this up. You can line it up way up here. You can, I mean, anywhere, however you want it, want it to look. I think that looks about good. And then I'm going to duplicate it once more and move the third frame. I don't want it to look too uniform and too perfect. So I think that looks pretty good. I'm going to crank that up just a little bit. There we go. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. So now I'm going to rubber band select everything again. I've got it. All three layers are selected, all three circles. I'm going to come down here and I'm going to hit weld. So what that's going to do is that is going to make this one big piece so that when you cut it out and you weed these, the transparent part that you can see through here is what you're going to weed. You're going to be left with one piece. So now you're ready to go. So all you got to do is hit make it and you've got your overlapping frame circles. I hope this helped. If you have any questions, please leave them below. Don't forget to subscribe. I appreciate you. Thanks.